Today is Monday, 27 January, 2020. And is it my imagination or is it the new math that we can have 80 dead in China and eh, almost 3,000 confirmed cases, but yet we have six teams where of 1,230 uh, medical staff headed to uh, Wuhan and they're building two new 2,000, that, that would be 2,000 bed worth of um, hospitals on top of all the hospitals that they already have for a town with 11, excuse me, a city with 11 million people in it. So, I mean, forgive me, I'm just a scientist and I haven't practiced my math skills since Friday, but something's just not adding up here. And I'm not gonna say it's the new math. I really think that we are not getting full transparency on what is going on and the news that is coming out of China. I know we keep getting all these unverified videos and people are saying, oh my goodness, that can't really be that horrible. But I, I don't know if we're now looking at a 10 day incubation period before symptoms even present and they continue to quarantine more and more cities. I really believe that the low numbers of confirmed cases can't just be blamed on lack of medical supplies. So I'm just gonna throw that out there and you can tell me what you think. Um, and it has been verified, unlike these unverified videos that there are some really courageous people that are getting them out to us since we do have eight confirmed cases of people being arrested for spreading rumors, which, oh my gosh, they're disrupting China's harmony, for goodness sakes. And um, it's just, what can we see here that is going on that is being covered up? And I can't say that this is anything except for a cover up. And we have confirmed cases, we have a death toll increase every day, we have what passes for a scam with them taking temperatures of people that are fleeing from Wuhan because the numbers do show that five million people fleed. They left, they escaped from Wuhan before it went on total lockdown. So that's five million potentially contagious people out there who may not even be experiencing symptoms right now. They might not know that they're contagious, but yet they are out there. And I know that everyone's saying, oh, get a face mask. But the medical staff that were infected were actually all wearing face masks and they were uh, infected through the eye mucous membranes. So what we're, we were told initially is just the baby fied, don't want to scare anybody and make them panic type thing. And that is what the Chinese government is doing. They are suppressing the information. They are tracking down the people that are actually getting out the unverified videos. 
They're arresting them for spreading rumors. And their censors are just going wild. They, if it doesn't uh, conform to the China's uh, policy, what they want to be disseminated, what they want to share, um, then it is being suppressed. And this is being suppressed very aggressively. Um, so I just really want you to consider what we're seeing out there. On a daily basis, we're getting more people who have died. We're finding out that this coronavirus is more aggressive, that it is spreading more aggressively than originally thought, and it's more dangerous than originally thought. So please don't just sit there thinking, oh, it's not more than the common cold. This is one of those times that you do need to put in a little thoughtful preparation. And I'm not saying go out and buy face masks and a filtered water system. I'm just saying, please remember to stock up your pantries with food staples in case um, the location where you live is hard hit by this virus and you need to avoid potential exposure. And yeah, well, if the virus passes your location by, well, then you'll have food to eat later. But in the meanwhile, you'll enjoy peace of mind. And that's important to know that you are protected and your family is protected and your pets are protected. Because what are you going to do if our shelves are completely wiped bare? like they are in Wuhan right now. I mean, people did not expect that they were going to be completely shut down. And they really depend on their government to take care of them. Whereas I perceive that we in the United States um, are more free thinkers and we're not gonna have anybody tell us that we can't leave the city or we can't go hang out with our relatives or, or, you know, have a football party or something. It's just not something that we accept readily. And we need to be prepared and we need to have a few bucks set to the side. I know not all of us have um, a lot of fundage. I don't know where people get all this money that they really stockpile years of food, but we need to at least try to get a couple of weeks worth of food put away. And if that just means that you're hunting out some tuna fish that's on sale over at Walmart, well, stock up on four extra cans. Or if you have to have extra baby formula, or just uh, prepare to shelter in place in case you're feeling sick and you don't have enough money to go to the hospital, uh, be prepared with some, some fluids and some medicine, even if it's just over-the-counter uh, medicine. So please take care of yourselves and please consider just preparing and stay safe, please. And I would ask also that you hit the like button and subscribe to stay up to date and to receive the latest information as it becomes available. Thank you. This is Julie Hankinson and yes I really am a scientist and this new math is just whooping my tush. Y'all take care. Bye.